Hello, I'm Forrest Elliott. I go to Oakland College. I'm a math and pure science student. I uh, worked with Dr. Stefanov and Dr. Mishovic um, on a driving simulator in a protected vehicle, protected vehicle environment. So uh, basically, a protected vehicle environment is a uh, environment where all the vehicles are wirelessly connected to each other and to um, like uh, trans trans like uh, receivers on the road. And so what this allows is like transmission of information. So you can get GPS coordinates of all the other cars around you to try and prevent collisions, which the state desk really needs. Um, speed advisories also the state needs and stop notifications. So you'd be like, oh, the stoplight above you is turning green in 20 seconds. So you can get a bit of a head start on that kind of stuff. So basically, um, we want to try and test this in a simulated environment so we can like develop our own applications. So to do this, we, um, well, when I came here, there's a developed driving simulator um, that talks with a simulation software called vSim, which actually creates, or you create roads and it um, runs driving simu so like a simulation on it. Uh, but we also have to um, attach that to an OBU, which is an onboard unit, um, which is what would be in the car transmitting signals out, and uh, connect the OBU to an RSU, which is what would be on the road talking to everything else like traffic lights or other cars. And then the traffic controller, which is what we use to control traffic lights on our roads. So first, uh, this is a driving simulator. It's made in Unity, uh, using C Sharp as its language. And in the back, you can sort of see vSim. So when you open up the driving simulator, it opens up vSim. And vSim populates the simulator all these cars and controls the traffic lights. And there's actually, um, you can drive it around. The, this this uh, gray car is you. You can drive it around to the simulator. Um, so yeah, it's coded in C Sharp and communicates with vSim. And so the first thing I had to do was I had to try and modify the scripts in Unity to extract relevant information, like uh, the location of the car, all the signals, locations of other cars, etc. cetera. Um, and basically what I had to do next was I had to uh, compile or cross-compile C code onto this um, OBU or onboard unit so that I could wirelessly send information from the Unity uh, software to, through, through the Ethernet um, to the OBU. And the OBU, what it does is it will use, uh, basically it will send packets of information to the RSU, which the RSU is what will communicate with everything else. So basically, um, currently what we have going is when you start the, uh, the OBU up, you start a server up, um, it listens on a port, it listens for, um, basically Unity software to start. Once that starts, that starts transmitting constant GPS location of like the user car. And um, basically, once we get the rest of the system up, which is the RSU, uh, the OBU will send these uh, GPS coordinates to the RSU, and the RSU will communicate with the traffic controller. And then the traffic controller can say, OK, you are approaching this stoplight. Um, this stoplight is turning green in 20 seconds, or turning red in 5 seconds, or so on and so forth. And then it will send the information back to the RSU, which will then communicate back to the car. And we can set up some sort of interface where you can be like, oh yeah, great, this car is, this stoplight is going to turn green, so I can get ready for that and not get off my phone or something. Yeah. So it has a lot of cool applications, I think, especially for the state and other, and Massachusetts, other terrible driving states. So <laughs> hopefully it gets a little better. Yeah. Thank you.